Hello, and welcome to Johnson Community College's English 112 Fall 2019 online class. Congratulations, you made it to this video. That's a good job out of you. All right, so when you first got to Blackboard here, you'll see there was a video that said, watch me first. If you have not watched this video first, please watch it. It's not very long. It's important that you need to kind of grasp some ideas behind taking an online class. You are now watching the one that says watch me second and then after that there's one about your instructor so this video that you're watching currently right now gotta get rid of that little thing is basically how this class is set up how you're going to navigate it and how it works and all that kind of fun stuff because when you first start a class it's like ah what do i do what am i supposed to do so just bear with me we'll walk you through it so the first thing every time you log in you'll go right directly to the announcements and basically you know when you first log in at the start of the class you'll see these videos but then as the class progresses you'll see different announcements clarifying things about assignments giving you updates you know whatever okay so their announcements will go here any future announcements will also be sent via your jcc email okay so there's that so really how you navigate the class is all these little buttons over here and each one of them kind of does a different thing and so we're kind of we're going to kind of skip around a little bit um, just to kind of get a sense of it but um, so up here we have the announcements um, before you can actually be considered to be actually enrolled in the class just because you signed up for it and you've logged in does not mean that you're enrolled in the class you actually have to complete an assignment and one of the easiest ones to do is the enrollment verification quiz okay so to take that quiz you would click right here and we'll take you over to this and then you just click right there and we'll verification quiz and then just begin okay um, you have uh, you can take this quiz as many times as you want it doesn't impact your grade you just need to actually take it and this is basically just to help you figure out some of the things that we're going to be covering and most of the answers will be covered in the video and in the syllabus so there is that Okay, so that is the enrollment verification quiz. Now you say, wait a minute, Professor Morgan, you just said that the answers are in the syllabus. Yeah, well, that will be the next little tab right there, syllabus, okay? And actually, I'm going to switch over to your view because this looks kind of cool. Um, there's a neat little trick here. Okay, so let's go over to syllabus. I'm in student view now. So you'll notice that here's the syllabus right here, and then you would download this. You just click this, and this is a Microsoft Word. If you're not using Microsoft Word, you should be. Um, I'm just saying it's it's like the standard for across the you know you know all schools really and if you type in if you go to the, like Google and type in Microsoft Word for free for students um, there's a good chance that you'll be able to get Microsoft Word for free if you're using your JCC email account just saying anyway so if you just click on here um, then it will download the syllabus and then you can write it to read through it um, and then there's also the student acknowledgement form now in the past you know you may have had to like sign this and scan it and take a picture of it no okay so the little student acknowledgement form will go ahead and just down that, that bad boy right here do, 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 do. basically you have to just say hey look I acknowledge that I've read the syllabus and that I therefore assume full responsibility for my attendance and the consequences of my absences and the evaluation policy and basically all the stuff that is outlined in the syllabus. So you read the syllabus and then you have to sign this. Well, how are you going to sign this? Well, a nice easy way to do this is actually all you have to do is click on boop, Mark Reviewed and say, hey, it's Mark Reviewed and I've Mark Reviewed. So once you've read through the syllabus and you say, yeah, okay, I, I get it, you just hit Mark Reviewed and that's all you have to do. That's how you sign the form. Pretty cool, huh? All right, fantastic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and exit the student view, but I just needed to show you that because it doesn't show up on teacher view. Okay. Now let's get to the next thing. Okay, the next thing is, oh, my textbook. What textbook do I need? Well, if you go over here to my textbook, boom, 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 this shows you. That's it right there, the Norton Field Guide. Okay. If you get this from the, uh, the note, the, uh, what do you call it, the bookstore, they'll, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, it comes with a code, you know. No, we, we're not using anything that requires a code or anything like that. The only thing you need is the book. So if you want to find this book online, on eBay, or a used bookstore or something like this it's the green one the Norton Field Guide with writing and readings this is the one you need that's all you need is just that book okay and there's what the picture what it looks like so that's the required textbook that you will need for this class okay and then the next little button over here is my instructor okay I'm gonna go ahead and close that so there I am that's me uh, well maybe 
a couple years ago. Anyway, so this is a little bit about me. Um, and there is my email address right there. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, it's against school policy for me to give out my phone number. And since I'm an adjunct, I don't have an office actually on campus. So the only way to really reach me is JCC email. And you have to use your JCC email to email me. You can't use your Google one, your Gmail, or your Yahoo, or whatever like that. Because I have to make sure it is you that's contacting me. So just saying. And uh, by the way, so I am also an author. Yay. If you're giggle, if you're, if you're kind of interested, there's a link to my web page shows my different books that I've written. Oh, really? He actually knows what he's talking about. Well, kind of, sort of, yeah. All right. So those are the little buttons over there to kind of get started. But how do we kind of do things on a regular basis? Well, here is basically our overall schedule. This is kind of like the calendar, as it were, of what we do. Okay, so this just shows you, okay, that's like, look, so week one starts on August 15th. That's the first day of class. And so then week two, week three, week four, and it shows what we're going to be doing, what we're going to, you know, the readings we're supposed to be doing, what assignments are going to be doing and stuff like this. So this is just the calendar. This isn't really how you do it. This just shows you what we're going to be doing. Okay, now a special note here about this class. This class starts on Thursday, August the 15th. Thursday, August the 15th. This class will go Thursday to Thursday. Our, our class week is Thursday to Thursday. I did not set that up. I know some people are like, oh, I'd rather go Monday through Sunday. Well, so would I. Sometimes it just kind of depends. But for the sake of this course, because it starts on a Thursday, we're going to do Thursday to Thursday. So basically, for the most part, with one exception, okay, Things that you were assigned, well, some exceptions, with uh, things you're assigned, like, for example, you have to complete the student acknowledgement form. Okay, well, you have a full week to do that. Okay, so again, Thursday, you just kind of, you know, tattoo it on your forehead. Thursday is my online day. That's when things are due. Okay, that doesn't mean that's when you should start working on them because they're due that day. That means that's when things are due, and that's when it starts our next week. Okay, you see that? Now, there is one exception, the enrollment verification quiz. You have until the 26th. That's not a typo because that's the census date for this class. And this goes all the way down to December 12th. So our last, really, class of stuff that is due is December 12th. The last official day for class at the school, I think, is like the 18th or something like that. Um, but we'll be due on the 12th because that gives me time to grade your final things and get my final grades in. So that's the way, one way we can you know kind of be done. We'll be done by the 12th because we're doing Thursday to Thursday. If I go Monday through Friday, then it gets to be a little more Monday through Sunday. Anyway, have I beat that to death? Probably. Anyway, so also note, okay, on this date when it says, hey, look, it's due on the 22nd. When? Okay, it's due by 11.59 p.m. on that date, okay? And hugely important, no late work is accepted. How much late work is accepted? No, no late work is accepted. The reason being that everything builds on each other, and if you get behind, then you start to, you don't need this, you won't have the skills needed to do the other assignments. So that all of this builds on each other. So no late work is accepted, okay? No late work. Uh, beat that to death. Okay, well, this just shows you the, what we're doing, but how do we do it? So this is where you're going to be spending most of your time here is the weekly assignments. So if you go to weekly assignments, we'll click there. This shows you, and look, if you just kind of scroll down, you'll see, hey, look, we have, you know, all these different weeks here. Okay, and you'll notice that we do have a fall break, so there's no assignments this week, and we do have Thanksgiving, woo -hoo! so there's no assignments that week. Okay, but so what you're going to do is you're going to go to week one, Boom, 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 boom. And you'll see, okay, so this is what you're supposed to do with, you know, for week one. These are the different things that you're supposed to do. Da, 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 da. Okay. Da, 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 da. So you just kind of go through this. You're like, okay, well, the student acknowledgement form, how do I do that? Oh, remember, so that one's under the syllabus. And you go to the student acknowledgement form. And again, in your view, you'll see the little review button. Okay, because I'm back in teacher view. So you would click on that to, to see that one. Okay, so that's good. So that's how we do that one. All right, let's go back to week one. Okay, and then there's the different things. Now, what I do every single week is that I post a video that shows you basically exactly what we're doing for that week and how to do it. Okay, now you'll see this is, wait, that says fall of 18. That's because I'm going to create all the new ones for fall of 19. Okay, but basically, so, you know, when you start a week, you go to weekly, week, uh, weekly assignments and you go and watch the video and it walks you through step by step what we're doing. Okay, and then some of the things we're going to be doing, you know, it's like, for example, it's like, oh, I have to take this quiz. Well, how do I take the quiz? Well, there's a quiz there and there's a research log. But this video, these videos, these weekly videos, will walk you through step by step of what we're doing that week. Also, some of these
these weeks actually have other videos that include, um, you know, lectures on the stuff that's going to be in the readings, you know, some of the concepts we're going to be doing, how to do some of the papers and stuff like that. But that's really where you're going to spend the majority of your time is you watch the video and then you do the stuff that's in it. Now, um, again, what happens sometimes is I'll have students that say, will send me an email and say, hey, how do I, uh, how do I complete my first research log? Okay. And it's like, oh, here it is, but I don't know what to do. Well, my response is going to be, it's in the video, okay? Because <laughs> it's the reason I create these videos, it's easier for me to show you how to do something than to try to type, type it through email. So if I will say, please review the video, because it'll have it. And I don't know why this little screen popped up. That's weird. Okay, but that would be what I would recommend that we do. Okay, so let's move on. What's else, what else we got over here? Um, so we do have um, a couple of discussion boards that we're going to be doing. So how you access that is you click on discussion board. And for the different weeks, Again, I will walk you through, but that's how you access the discussion board. We have three discussion boards that we'll be using this semester. Um, and again, in the weekly videos, it'll show you how to do it. Um, to view your personal grades, you click on My Grades. Um, I haven't checked this because, again, I'm not a, a student, but this is how you should be able to access your GCC email. Now, if you've been falling asleep, please wake up because this is going to be huge. There's two links right here that I've created um, that, you know, these are kind of whatever. So video tutorials. Under video tutorials, there's a bunch of different videos, kind of like how-to things. So for this class, we're going to be doing APA formatting. Some of you may be thinking, what the heck is APA formatting? Well, we're going to learn it, okay? And that's one thing we're going to learn in this class. And there are some videos and some sources here that will help show you how to do that. Ooh, how to format an annotated bibliography. What the heck is that? Don't worry about it. We'll get to it, okay? And we also have some sample assignments. So you're going to be create doing some assignments here like, what should it look like when I'm done well you can go to these different assignments and see what they should be like oh how cool and the rest of this is the resources the tool area the blackboard help and purchasing uh, materials from Barnes and Noble these are standard through all blackboard courses through the school and then at the end of the semester you'll do a course evaluation that you can't really do that until the end of the semester but again but the main thing you're going to be doing is course schedule again is like the calendar it kind of shows you it's like oh what do I got what do I have due and when does it do that just kind of steps it through and then again weekly assignments has the same exact information so like let's say we go to week four okay you will see that week four has this is what we're doing there'll be a video whoops there'll be a video that shows you what we're doing and here's a case where there's like a video that explains you know, on the on data bibliography and doing research and then you'd have some other information so that's really the the flow of how this course works and yeah you know, after a couple of weeks you'll be an expert at that so um, hopefully that will answer a lot of your questions that you've had and again so the next step what you should do next, what I would recommend after watching this video is, um, if you so desire, there's this is about two minutes long. There's one about about, about your instructor. So if you want to learn a bit more about me, uh, again, this is a little two minute video that kind of explains a little bit more about me. I'm going to get to know you. So this is how you get to know me. And then after you've watched that video, go right to weekly assignments, then go to week one, and then watch the next video, which for week one, we'll walk you through what we're doing for week one. And then just do the assignments. Okay. Well, that's it. Have fun doing this. Again, contact me if you have questions. But don't be surprised if I say, hey, that's a great question. And I've answered it in the video, which will help you better. All right. So there you go.